Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to our Sabbath school class for today. The title of our lesson is Snake Bite. Our memory verse is Have Faith in God, Mark chapter 11, verse 22. And the message, we worship God when we have faith in him. Our lesson for this week is about worship. Many had already died, and when Moses raised the serpent upon a pole, some would not believe that merely gazing upon this metallic image would heal them. And because of their lack of faith, many perished. But those who exercised their faith and were obedient to what God had instructed to do, they were healed. So when we exercise our faith, we are practicing obedience and we are, we are obeying the word of God. Just like the Israelites, God provide for us each and every day of our life. He provided food for them. He provided clothes for them. He ensured that their clothes would not wear out as they wandered through the desert for 40 years. He made sure that they had water. He was a cloud for them by day and a pillar of fire for them by night. So when we exercise our faith, we are practicing being obedient and doing what God has instructed or asked us to do. So this morning, I want you to practice being obedient. So I'm going to give you some verbal directions and we're going to draw a picture together. I have already drawn the picture, so I want to see if your picture matches mine. So the first thing I want you to do is get a piece of paper and something to draw with, a pencil, a crayon, or a marker. Find something to draw with. Okay, very good. So now I want you to follow my verbal directions. Place your paper in front of you, landscape style. When we are printing from our printers, we either print portrait or we print landscape. So I want you to put the paper in front of you, landscape style. Then I want you to draw one vertical line on the left side of the paper and one vertical line on the right side of the paper. Draw a horizontal line, horizontal line across the top and draw a horizontal line across the bottom. All your lines should connect and make four corners. Next, I want you to draw an oblique line at the top on the left hand side and another oblique line at the top on the right hand side. And your two oblique lines should connect at the top to make a point. At the top of your point, put a cross. That should give you an idea of what you should have a picture of. Where do we go when we want to worship God? We go to church. Your picture should look somewhat like a church if you were obedient and followed the directions. And hopefully you guys will be able to worship together in our church very soon and I will get to see your faces and you will get to see mine and we will worship God face to face. Okay, as we continue in our lesson, I want to read to you some scenarios and I want you to tell me who is practicing faith, who has faith in these scenarios. Thomas' parents don't want him to have toys that people will say have magical powers or toys that look violent. Thomas's friends are allowed to play with these toys. Thomas doesn't see what's wrong with them, but he chooses to obey his parents. So he doesn't buy any of these toys with his allowance. Is Thomas being obedient? Is he practicing faith? Does Thomas have faith in what his parents are saying and trying to teach him. You are correct. Yes, Thomas is. Sabrina's class is going on a field trip to the zoo. It is supposed to be a warm and sunny day, but it is cold this morning. 
Sabrina's mom suggests that she wear a sweater. Sabrina doesn't want to wear a sweater because she would have to carry it later. Sabrina's mom asks her to wear one anyway. Sabrina puts on the sweater while her mom is at the house. But when her mom leaves for work, Sabrina takes off the sweater and catches her school bus. Was Sabrina obedient? Was she practicing exercising faith in what her mom was telling her to do? Of course she did not. She did not obey her parents. Okay, so let's make sure that when our parents are asking us to do things, that they are asking us to do those things to protect and to help us. So we want to be obedient. Lastly, Kaylee is afraid of going to sleep at night in the dark. When she is afraid, she will often get out of bed and go to find one of her parents. Her dad prays with her before going to sleep. He helps her say her favorite Bible text about how God is with us and the angels are watching over us even as we sleep. Within a few minutes, Kaylee is upset and she jumps out of bed. But she repeats the Bible text that her and her father read before he left her room over and over and over again. Soon Kaylee finds peace and she falls to sleep. Is Kaylee exercising her faith? Yes, she is. Yes, Kaylee is. Boys and girls, as we go through our daily lives, even as you go through your daily lives, and especially now during this COVID-19 time period that we are living in, it is a testament of our faith. We know that even during these times, God is protecting us. He's watching over us. So it is our responsibility to be obedient and to trust him at his word. I look forward to seeing you guys in church very soon. Have a wonderful and a happy Sabbath.